Special thank you to Hunty Draws for providing our brand spanking new media graphics, including a new icon, banner, and splash screen for YouTube. You go, girl. What, are you taking off a layer? <laughs> Sorry, I was chewing uh, pizza. <laughs> Was that really that loud? Where it was just like, oh. yeah, we can hear that. It just oh, sounds no. like styrofoam rubbing together. Oh no, I'm gonna have to like discreetly eat this pizza. I'm just gonna like nibble on it. I'm gonna, like, extend my lower jaw to like pull it up into my mouth. Can't hear it. What type of pizza? It's a pepperoni and sausage. It's just like a basic pizza. All right, I'm gonna take a bite. I'm gonna try and do it as quiet as possible. Yeah, here goes. <laughs> What are your thoughts about uh, uh, Hawaiian pizza, or like pineapples on pizza? It's a godless abomination. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I don't really care, because I've had uh, pizza with apple slices on it. Whoa! Yeah, apple slices? It's uh, it's called the Cumberland Calamity. <laughs> it's like a giant-ass pizza that this uh, pizzeria in, uh, in, a, in a town nearby sells, and uh, I usually get one just for myself. It's got like jalapenos and uh just it's got hot peppers black olives like it's basically like a supreme but they put uh uh apple slices on it and it just it tastes really good it's really weird just like normal apple slices or like dried apple slices or anything or crisped uh like it's it's kind of like a mix like they're not crisp like they're not dried out okay uh but it's not or is it just like they took an apple and cut it up into slices and put it on uh, kind of like that, but it's like it's almost like they shredded it. It's really weird. Like they're okay. not giant apple slices. Well, I don't think they put a full apple on each slice, I, Alex. I, I, just... I, I just want to know how the apple was delivered. Okay. It's like here, you know, I just you know, it's just a whole apple in the center of the pizza. Yeah, just and crab so... apples, just yeah. all over. Oh man, just all over it. Those... Yeah, well, you know how some pizzas have like the little um table thing that goes in the middle of them to stop the cheese from getting on the box. Yeah, they just, they just have an apple in there instead. <laughs> It's like you can cut it yourself. Exactly, it's perfect. You know, you could dish it as much as you want, or you got fruit for the next day. Well, it's I'm not, I'm not sharing it. I'll probably eat the pizza before I get home. <laughs> I've done there that. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Hasselcast podcast tonight. Hosted, not quite as always, but this time by myself, Ben. Uh, tonight, I'm joined by Alex, Stephen, and a very special guest. Oh, was I supposed to say my name? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I could have told you to say something. Uh, it's uh, a little heads up. We with have nice. a very special guest, and there's just like wind blowing. Yeah, <laughs> crickets in the background. Crickets, like, yeah. Where'd he go? But yeah, Dylan from World Nine. Hey What's guys, going on, dude? I'm uh, not much. I'm eating pizza that sounds like styrofoam, apparently. So <laughs> you better double check. It's not actually just styrofoam. Uh, well, unless I've gone completely blind in the last five minutes. Um, so Dylan. You have a YouTube channel. Yes, I do. With a with a whopping 50 subs, I see. That's pretty impressive. Wait, do I have 50 now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have 50 now. Oh my god! I would just like to say, we'll get to this in a while too. You guys have talked about a raffle for a while, and I was subscriber number 50. Oh wait, oh, who, who's currently? That's all I'm saying. Who, who's subscriber number fifty? Uh, Steven. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I I don't know everybody's voices oh. yet, so I apologize. Nah, the dumb it's one all is good. Steven. Hey, shut your mouth. <laughs> uh, I'll have to do a fifty subscriber video because I've been waiting for that number fifty. So I'll keep you in mind. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> anyway, when do we get part four of Super Ghost and Ghouls? Uh, I actually, yeah. it is it is done. I have tried to upload it on three separate occasions, and stuff is just. No, nothing is going right every time I upload Not it. Not happening. So, but I can put it up tonight after this, after we get done recording. So expect that later tonight then. Yeah, sounds Ooh, good. Looking forward to it. Sweet. You know, yeah. we all really enjoyed parts one through three. And for being somebody that's never played the game before, it was really funny to watch you replay the same level <laughs> three different times. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, that game's hard. Dude, it is really hard. Uh, I have a guest coming, or we've, we've recorded some episodes already. Uh, he's a drummer in a local band. Called uh, and I'll go ahead and oh, cool. plug him. Uh, the band's called Silent Monolith. They're kind of like a stoner like rock band. Uh, kind of they have like kind of sound like uh, some of their tracks are kind of like southern rock, but they also have some that sound like Black Sabbath type stuff. So it's pretty cool. But uh, he claims to have beaten okay. Super Ghost and Ghouls. 
So I don't know about that. Claims to have beaten. He, he has it at his house. Uh, pictures or it didn't happen. I know. I'm going to have to have him uh, play <laughs> through it next time I go over there. Do it. But uh, I, I'll, Now, is this uh, the only Ghouls and Ghosts game you've ever played? Uh, yes, it is. I've, I've seen people play it before, but I know that there's a, a whole series of it. So. Are you familiar with the game, Steven? Uh, I played a bit of the first one. Uh, the first one's also hard, but the, the one you guys are playing looks considerably harder, specifically that wave portion. That It's bullshit. That you keep getting nailed on. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's such bullshit. I, I watched part three before I watched part one, and I rewatched the rest of them. And just seeing you go back to part one, it's like I forgot that you didn't know what to do for the waves. So I was like, God, this is so bad after they just did it. It's like, oh, no, I'm watching them in the wrong order. <laughs> Now, you guys have been doing videos for a couple of years now, right? Uh, I started the channel, I want to say, just about two years ago, but I didn't get, I didn't see it, like, start uploading seriously until probably this year, or a little bit before this year started, so late 2016 okay. is probably when I started, like, uploading for serious, but uh, it, it's also gone through a couple, uh, a couple of lineup changes as far as, like, co-hosts and stuff, uh, when I started the channel, I was living in a, a different part of Tennessee at the time, and uh, some per some uh, some pretty personal stuff happened. I had to move back in with my parents, and uh, ended up throwing a whole wrench in the channel. So I had to kind of like take a while off from the channel and uh, really, you know, focus on myself. And uh, that's where I ended up pulling Carter and my friend. Uh, he his name's uh, Tyler on the uh, on the intro thing. He's got like the skull shirt in the intro, but I. We call him yep. tiny. We call him tiny, just something from high school. So, <laughs> and it's funny because awesome. he he makes fun of it because he's like everybody calls him tiny, but he's like this big dude. So it's just like, Sweet. yeah. Firstly, though, I do really like your intro and your outro is fantastic. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, thank you. This is the I song. love that outro. Did you guys make that outro yourselves? That is my friend uh, Matt Hooper. He has a channel and he has a bunch of songs like that. He has one called uh, Beer Goggles, where he shot a music video. Uh, where he goes to a club and he's dancing with this chick and he puts like these effects on it and it turns out to be this dude with a beard that he's dancing with but he thought it was a hot girl. <laughs> uh, he, oh man. I've, I've been trying to get him on the channel like he actually was originally supposed to be the third co-host but he lives like an hour away from me now and he has a family and stuff. I went to college with him and he was also in the military so he's always really busy but he does like Weird Al Yankovic type uh, songs. He'll just, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he'll just take a song, but I, I really liked that song in particular. So uh, I asked him if I could use it, and he said it was okay because I can always link his channel and stuff, and people will go check him out. But that's. Uh, yeah, absolutely. That, Plug that, whoever you want. Uh, sorry, Dylan, we just got to say here. Um, we're kind of laughing our asses off right here. I think your styrofoam pizza turned into like rubbing fart noise pizza because we were hearing some rubbing rubber noises. Sorry, that was actually uh, – I'm sitting – my chair broke, so it's no longer a chair. It's like a stool. So hold on. Let, here, oh. let, me, let me turn and see if you guys hear this. Yeah. Okay. So it's the it's the it's silence the... and then just a little toot. <laughs> okay. It's the stool. I apologize. I was bending down to pick something up. Oh yeah yeah oh, yeah. No worries, man. It's like the whole time you're plugging this dude with his music and stuff, we're just hearing. <laughs> ar, ar, ar. <laughs> oh. Steven's just dying in his chair, trying not to like openly laugh. It's okay. Oh. I was I was bending down to pick up. I have a guitar. Uh, some guitar polish and it had fallen over so i guess when i bent down to pick it up it was just like like that hold on yeah. you hear <laughs> yep that? yep that's you hear this <laughs> yeah that's we're it. hearing it okay it's the stool <laughs> um what's uh what's guitar polish for uh for the for the body of the guitar like the lower end okay do you play yes i do nice yeah pretty cool i've been playing for a while are you good uh that's that's objective because it, you can ask almost any <laughs> guitar player or person who plays an instrument if they're any good and i guarantee you like 70 percent will be like hey, i'm okay yeah 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 and I, I un it. unless they're just like yeah. have like the biggest ego and they're just like yeah i'm hot shit i got it i'm cool but i i guess I'm in okay. which case they're usually not very good yeah, they're either they're either good or they can back it up, but most of the time it's it's the former. Fair enough. So I'm very curious to know, uh, where does the name World Nine come from? 
World... Like, what was the decision on that name for your channel? Please tell me it was another Xbox gamer tag. <laughs> Why? Uh, we had a guest on a little while ago, and that's how he got his name for his YouTube channel. Oh, really? From his Xbox yeah. gamer tag? Yeah. It was like a randomized feature Xbox had. Oh, so yeah, I remember just, that. Like, clicked right, and I was like, oh, good enough. My brother got Thunder Thighs from the random thing. So. <laughs> no uh, way. Yeah, it was like okay. Thunder Thighs <laughs> 67, <laughs> and he lost his account name, so my mom had to call like xbox like microsoft support and they're like what's the gamer tag and he told her and she's like thunder thigh 67 and the person on the other end of the phone like openly laughed and was like okay we'll fix this <laughs> wow this is a couple of years That's ago awesome but, uh no what was that uh, gamer tag name you tried to get steven but it... uh, i tried to get <laughs> variations of daddy's cheeks <laughs> but uh it didn't quite come through for me uh, i uh <laughs> I have a weapon on a Team Fortress 2 when I used to play. It was a mailbox for the Pyro class that I changed the yeah, name yeah. of it to Daddy's Favorite Whooping Stick. <laughs> and, uh, I also changed awesome. like, the description. I can't even remember. But uh, man, you play TF2? Yeah, I used to play all the time. I, I had like I think I have like 700 hours or something on there. <laughs> something ridiculous. Jeez, dude. I used to play back like probably five years ago. I'd play almost every single day, and I, uh, I think I've got over 300 hours. Oh my god, um, I feel terrible. Logged, but I haven't played for such a long time. And funnily enough, this weekend I picked it up again. I had to take it off my computer to make more room for like my recording software, but I plan on putting it uh, back on and playing it again. Yeah, man. But uh, it's so different now. Like I know there's uh. There's like, a lot. Because I, I played it like five years ago, and uh, now there's this whole experience system. And what? Like, yeah. Okay, that that <laughs> like, has to be like really, like within the past year or two, because that's, that's the last time I played TF2 was like within a year or two ago. So it, it has to have been like right after I stopped playing. I, was, I think it was when they put in their competitive playlist, because you can now do like six on six ranked matchmaking and stuff, oh, and maybe it came with that update. That's cool. I might uh. <laughs> I might have to start playing that. Dude, it's fun. Oh. I was playing it earlier today with my brother, and we were getting our butts kicked, and I still got it. I can still get my butt kicked. <laughs> you're like you're, you're not too 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 above yourself to admit when you're getting whooped. No, which is often, but occasionally I have a really good round. But he's not a guitar player or anything, you know. No. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, the the name thing. Uh, I. Th what I was gonna oh, do. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Don't be sorry. We're Canadian. That's our job. Uh, I was super <laughs> curious, and then immediately became not curious. I know. I, I I go off on a tangent sometimes, where it's just like I'll start talking, and then I won't shut up for a while, which yeah. is uh, good for the channel occasionally, but uh, bad if you're talking to me in person because it's like I have to go to the bathroom. Can you leave me alone? Type deal. So yeah. Uh, Being able to go off on tangents and stuff is exactly what makes this podcast work. <laughs> so. Like it's why we do hour-long episodes. So, yeah. anyways, yeah, World oh, Nine. Sorry what's, again. What's the story behind the name here? Uh, I was going to originally start a. Uh, I was gonna do metal covers of different video game songs, and uh, I was looking for a name to kind of use put the project under. And World Nine was something that I had thought about, and. Uh, I didn't have any of the equipment necessary to do that. Like I didn't have a, like a digital audio workstation or anything like that. So I couldn't actually do it uh, as much as I wanted to. And then uh, I had been so watching. Was the name from like Cloud Nine kind of deal? And you're trying uh, to make World Nine or something? Actually, or it's uh, Super Eight Mario Bros. Mario. Yeah, Super Mario Bros. Yeah. Oh. The original Mario Bros. Oh, has okay. a secret World Nine on it. If you can get through it fast enough. Is it? It's either the original. Come on, Alex, get with it. I don't think it's the original Super Mario Bros. I think you're thinking of Super Mario World. No, it's not Super Mario World because that has the the special zone that is all the uh, wor worlds okay. or levels are named like after surfer slang. There's like gnarly and tubular. And... Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, because uh, it's definitely not the original Super Mario Bros. Yeah, I think it's uh, it might be Super Mario All Stars version of Super Mario Bros. Or the Lost Levels. Oh, maybe. But there was also the Super Mario yeah, you could be right. Bros. Deluxe on Game Boy Color. And uh, there's those. And some of the newer Mario Bros. games, if you can beat the game like in a certain amount of time or get all the stars or whatever you're supposed to collect, you can unlock a world called World 9 that's usually just ridiculous. So that's uh, 
where I got the name for that at, and that's actually what I based the logo. The original logo for the channel was kind of like a Super Mario Bros. style castle with a flag hanging out of it. Uh, yeah. Which is, it's in some of the very early episodes where I just kind of was like throwing stuff together, but... Uh, so your your current uh, channel logo is this like red anime looking dude with a bunch of little cartoon guys around yeah, it. What's, uh, uh, <laughs> what's going on with that? Uh, that's uh, my friend drew me. <laughs> and uh those are little finger puppets of the other co-hosts on my fingers oh i see i see uh, so that's what you look like is that pretty uh, he, accurate yeah it's pretty pretty accurate actually and the guy that drew it is uh one of the guys from jbcon which i i had him in the mario golf episodes and uh they were also on batman uh telltale's batman oh, okay okay so uh they're they're cool dudes i've known them since high school but they uh they run like a uh convention it's like what is it? It's like Japan Animation, Music, and Entertainment Con. So it's like JBCon. Uh, but uh, I have them oh, on. Oh, okay. I get you. Yeah. I also have their mascot on the, uh, the opening section. But they, uh, we were hanging out reading comics at a Target and uh, with uh, Tyler and uh, Carter. And uh, we brought up a uh, – that picture actually comes from uh, – uh, it's a Green Lantern comic from like the 70s or 80s or something like that where the the main green lantern of the time went crazy and killed all the other green lanterns and he he has all their rings on his hands and he's making that face and i uh i just kind of threw it out there i was like you know it'd be really funny if the world nine like the new picture for world nine's facebook and youtube channel was me but with like you guys as finger puppets or something on my hands and then like the next yeah. day he sent me that picture on like over facebook like he he went home and drew it because he thought it would look funny, so that's the story behind that. Man, that's so cool. And that's awesome. That's a sick image. I like it a lot. I'm yeah. looking at it now. Are, like I did, I couldn't you... quite grasp what what it was before, but now that you've like outlined it all, it's like, damn, that's that's very creative. Oh yeah. Oh, did you look at the Green Lantern, uh, thing? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Emerald Twilight, uh, I think is what the story's called. He's got like all the rings on his fingers and stuff. Yeah. Man, I used to love Green Lantern. Oh, man. Like, I had a bunch of the books, and uh, I had a hat, and I actually had a full costume at one point. Oh, you did? What happened to your hat, Ben? I, yeah, I did. I lost that hat. Um, I went on a sort of vacation, just sort of trip to Quebec, and forgot it there somewhere, so it's gone forever. I, oh, no. Well. Yeah, it was a gift and everything. If it makes you feel any better, I'm sure somebody else is the Green Lantern of we're back over there now, so <laughs> it's possible. I had that hat for like six years, like yeah. since high school. You wore that daily for at least the three years we were in high school, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, it was a good hat. That just uh... it was actually a very low key terrorist attack against Quebec because that thing smelled really bad. So just all of them were like, ah, I'll stay away. <laughs> that just uh, that just reminds me of like uh, that episode of Family Guy where. They're like, Peter, you've been wearing that green foam cowboy hat for three weeks now. Please, take it off for your family. And he's just, like, freaking <laughs> out. <laughs> like, yeah. That's that's what that reminds me of. Yeah. So, I've watched a fair amount of your videos. Are all of them uh, just, like, you one-on-one -on -one with, like, another friend? Uh, A lot of... The, the main co-host, for a while, when I first started, it was my friend Joe. He works at a call center, and it's our schedules don't hardly sync up, so we're not hardly able to record like we used to. He was in the, like the the very first couple of episodes, like the original Mario Party and uh, some of the banjo and stuff. Like now, I mostly record with Carter. Carter's like the main co-host now. Uh, Joe is still still a part of the channel, but he's like I said, he's always really busy with work and stuff. It's hard to you know line our stuff up. You just did Octodad with Joe, right? Yeah, I, I was able to do uh, two episodes of that with him. He's actually editing the other episode, so I'm waiting for him to send me that. So. Cool. You yeah, know, I really enjoyed part one. Oh, you did? Yeah, I, that was. Uh, it was really hard to coordinate the legs and arms because we both had to do half <laughs> of them. And well, uh, there I, is a four-person Octodad as well, where each person gets an appendage. Oh no, that's that's ridiculous. So it's not just like. Yeah, so not just one of you can get like the left side or the right side. It's like one of you gets a left hand, one of you gets a left leg, and so on. Like, it's, that's asking it can get pretty for... even more nuts. <laughs> that's that's ridiculous. I'm gonna have to bring that up. <laughs> yeah. 
So, cause, yeah, I was going to say, I've seen the Octodad, and uh, I was watching Shovel Knight as well. And this kind of where his question was going to come to was, uh, I see how many times your partner seems to kind of <laughs> hassle you, especially in Shovel Knight. I was just like, <laughs> he had the flying rod or something, and you kept trying to jump to grab your money that you lost, and your friend just kept hitting you down. Yeah. And stuff like that. So I was going to say, how's the, the experience of playing with others and how that kind of, like, I don't know, affects your videos with how much they're griefing you half the time, at least in Shovel Knight. Uh, in Shovel Knight, Carter is a, he just is a pain in, in my ass constantly. He's always <laughs> trying to shove me off stuff, and occasionally he would act like he was going to shove me over a ledge, and I would freak out and jump, and he would hit me, and I would just, I would run off on my own. So, uh, <laughs> I'm sh- I lost so much money. Uh, in some of the later episodes, uh, <laughs> I think it's like seven or eight. Uh, specifically, some of the later levels, I end up griefing him pretty bad, like by accident. But I also uh, I put it in like that little that minute like kind of teaser best of that's the channel trailer now. Uh, there's a section where we're running together, and he in the actual full episode he's going off on me and doing all sorts of stuff, and uh, I hit him. And he goes to jump, and I don't know what was going through my head, but I just jumped above him and smashed him down into the pit. Like, <laughs> and I don't know why I did it. it. Like, I don't even remember. Like, you're going for that meteor smash. Yeah, I just car was a bitch. Yeah, he just serves him right. <laughs> Punk, I'll show him what's up. So, like, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. We're actually he, uh, we're actually gonna do the Specter Knight DLC. Like, I have that. I've beaten it by myself, so I know how to work my way through the game, but. We're waiting for a time when he can just come over and we just hit it in, like, one go. Yeah, man. That's awesome. Is that stool talking again? That was, uh, yeah, I, my cat came in the room and I, I didn't know who it was. I thought it might be someone okay, sneaking that behind cat. me. <laughs> I was like, this is somewhere else I was wanting to go. This yeah. is a perfect segue. The, the cat. Oh, my the God. The elusive cat. You know what? Tell us about your cat. <laughs> She's a bitch. That's uh, that's really all I can... No, I love her. I love her a whole lot. Uh, uh... <laughs> At the time... What's her name? Uh, Snickers. And I didn't want to name her that, but that's what name she got, so... Good right. name. Right. Awesome I, name. Did she eat a bar of Snickers when she was younger? Uh, no, my ex named her that. So, that's her name. Oh. Forever now. I'm oh. actually... You know what? I'll post a picture on uh, Twitter, and you guys can see her right now. So... Okay. Uh, that sounds good. Cool. Right, here we go. It's going up. Yeah, you're... Uh, I think it was in part two of your ghosts and ghouls when snickers was just fucking around in the room oh my god like i'm i'm still mad (laughs) yeah (laughs) so like what's your setup like where she like is you just don't want her back there is she going to like chew on the cables Uh, because yeah it sounds like your room's pretty crazy where like she's behind the tv at some point and uh yeah i mean she doesn't chew on the cables there's a power what the hell is that on your cat's head uh well let me look (laughs) i just like is that like a is that like a flower? <laughs> yeah, I guess that is a flower. <laughs> and she's got her little tongue out. It's a fantastic picture. Uh, that is a great picture. Uh, she's uh, she wants you to think she's cute, but she's not. But she is. But uh, <laughs> cute on the outside. Cute on the cute on the outside. Eternal hatred on the inside. But dude, uh, that cat's got gigantic like bat ears. <laughs> yeah. She's uh she's up in the window right now, but the oh. no I was recording a three hour recording session with uh, Carter on a game or was it Carter? No, okay, it was uh one of my friends. I had him on. He's uh, Victor from uh, CoPlay It. Uh, I think I did. Uh, I've only put up the Soul Calibur Two episode with him in it, but we were recording a game, and uh, she stepped on the power strip and powered down everything in my room. Computer, recording software, oh, no. TV, and we were three hours in, and oh, so no. I, I lost like half the episodes. Like some of them had saved, but some of them were still exporting. So that's why I'm like, when she gets back here, I start getting a little angry. <laughs> It's just like left. Yeah. It's leftover rage. <laughs> Your cat just open the door herself, or do you like leave it open and she accidentally gets in? Uh, I try and leave her outside, like outside the room. I shut the door, but she starts missing me, and she just starts meowing. <laughs> and the mic, the old mic, would pick her meowing up. So there would be like parts in episodes where it'd just be like there'd be no sound for a second. That's me cutting out her, just like meow, like screaming. 
like through the door at me. Oh man. So, but, uh, so now I try and leave her in. We use a laser pointer to try and keep her preoccupied, but it only works for so long. What you need to do is just get like a cat cam and then just have like a camera <laughs> that's always focused on the cat and just use it to your advantage. Yeah, that's a great idea. Um, speaking of animals, uh, I've been very curious about this chicken raffle. <laughs> uh, Steven tried to segue to it earlier. Yeah, he did, it, but he failed. Oh. Uh, so what's the chicken raffle? Okay, here's the deal on the chicken raffle. This is a closely kept secret, so I'm, I'm trusting you guys. Uh, well, we're going to post it to the whole world. <laughs> well, so. uh, okay, fair enough. The chicken raffle. All 12 of our viewers. <laughs> You guys are awesome. You guys need more viewers and subscribers and everything because it's you definitely you guys have a lot of like potential. So people really need to need to listen in. Oh, we're well damn. aware that they need to listen it's in. Damn right, only they do. one of the best podcasts right. in the world. I'll be the people. humble one here. Thank you very much for the kind words. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you hear that, people? Start listening. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, chicken raffle. Originally, the chicken raffle was something Carter made up on the spot during Mario Maker. I'm pretty sure it was episode four or five when he was trying to do a level and he kept looking up with Mario and he was just like, look at that chin. And he would just get like killed by a fireball. Look at that chin. He, he was too busy looking at Mario's animation on his chin in Super yeah. Mario World on Mario Maker. And uh, so he, he started talking about a chicken raffle and I had no idea what the hell he was saying. And so I just kind of like laughed. So it was literally just just a random... Yeah, like string of thoughts that came out of Carter's mouth. Yeah, and you just decided to go with it. Like, there's no actual raffle. Well, so wait, well, no, wait, at, it's not even a reference or anything. No, at first there was. At first there was no raffle. We only we only had like maybe 20 subs at the time, and I knew who like you know like when when you're promoting the channel, you're like, hey man, come check out the channel. So I knew who some of the subs were. I had a couple of people I didn't, and uh, he brought up the chicken raffle thing in Mario Maker. I had no idea what he was talking about. So I tried to laugh it off and be like, okay, let's change the subject. And then he kept talking about it and talking about it and talking about it and dying. And then he's like, man, I died. Well, anyways, back to the chicken raffle. And uh, <laughs> eventually I was just like, after after a so recording session, I was like, what were you talking about? He's like, I don't know. And then in a late, in a different series, he brought up the chicken raffle again. So I just decided to make it a thing. So now we're doing a chicken <laughs> raffle. <laughs> well, so, how do you decide the winner? Uh, I guess we'll raffle the winner. I, I, how do you decide to like you're well, gonna chicken? I'd assume, but like <laughs> yeah, I've had three people actually like you know besides uh, you guys. So that's like two because uh, how, how many of y'all have actually like. I know some of you went and commented on the video and were like, chicken raffle. Uh, Hell yeah. Well, I was just curious what it was. I thought it would make a good story to tell on the podcast. Oh. Apparently, it was just Carter's babbling. Oh, no. But, uh, well, see, we have actually been discussing what we would do because we, we did a live show at, at JBCon, uh, and that was cool. We had some people. Yeah, on... I, I want to come back to that, but yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, the chicken raffle, I, I thought about maybe buying like whoever wins like a big thing of chicken and mailing it to him. And then I realized that mailing chicken across country to another country might seem like what's up with this chicken. This could be a terrorist attack or just something like crazy. Uh, I also thought about coupons or Carter brought up. We take a picture of delicious chicken and then uh, send the person who won a rubber chicken and then upload a video of us congratulating the winner of the chicken raffle while we eat their chicken. Yep. That's a good idea. You should do so that. So I think whoever yeah. wins is going to have to watch us eat the chicken on a video while we uh, – Exactly. And then just them. sadly squeeze their rubber chicken and listen yeah. to it scream. <laughs> but, yeah. But I do actually want to do like a prize thing and send prizes out at some point when I get more subs. But the for now, the chicken raffle is more like an inside joke type thing that could actually become a real thing later on down the line. I see. I love how the, the tweet you did about your cat, you said, hello, all of Canada. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's totally that's totally our country canadia yes. well, i i uh i hope i didn't offend with uh canadia so i actually trust me it's very hard to offend us okay hey, we've heard worse we've heard okay well i'm <laughs> <laughs> um so tell us about this uh live show you did at JabeCon. okay the live show uh what's JabeCon as well you already talked about it yeah oh, wait, it is uh, wait, okay i'm just double checking yeah it's okay. the japan animation uh b entertainment yeah <laughs> right Gone. yeah yeah uh, nailed it yeah perfect like 100 percent dead on 
Uh, I forgot what the B word is. I think it's uh, books. Ben. I believe it. That's right. <laughs> Japan Animation <laughs> Ben Entertainment, but uh, it was uh, good. We we were like one of the last panels, so it was like seven thirty or eight, roughly when we went on. We uh, I I brought my my computer and some of my basic recording equipment, and we had a projector. And uh, at first, it, uh, it was the first episode of World Nine that actually had all the hosts in it. It had me, Joe was in it, Carter and Tiny was all in it and we also had uh one of our mutual friends uh uh i don't think i've ever brought him up on the channel but his name's uh jack and he actually wrote and recorded an album in like 30 minutes uh like a full album like fake band album called white dog feces and then come up with a backstory dude (laughs) he come up with a backstory where it's like a scandinavian death metal band and all their songs are just like he just put in effects and just like screamed into like the microphone and it's it's ridiculous. Like he put it up on YouTube. Man. So, but uh, he that's awesome. Yeah, he was there. He just kind of did like some backing commentary. Uh, but uh, we had Joe create two levels for uh, people who wanted to come on the show that were at the convention. Uh, he created two two levels that weren't supposed to be too hard, but they ended up being kind of difficult because <laughs> uh, Carter and yeah. Tiny got really mad, and Joe was just like bragging, and I could see like the anger just like dwell it like it was rising up from their face oh man but uh fantastic and, and the levels they weren't too hard it was more like trial and error like you know you go forward you die from something you know to avoid it but uh yeah then uh maybe i think after the first episode i think we did like three episodes after the first one some people showed up from the convention because it, it it was late it's a one-day convention and uh there weren't a whole lot of people that left, so they started showing up then. So we got some like random people to come on, say their name, and uh, play Mario Maker. And uh, there was like three girls and a dude, and they started dying, and they were getting mad. So we just switched over to some online levels and played that until uh, the time was up. And all in all, it was a it was a pretty good experience. And honestly, I'd I'd love to do it again at like a bigger convention once we get more subscribers or something. Yeah. So this was sort of like a almost like a panel. Like a there was a group of people there, and you were just playing games up on up at the front or something. Yeah. And uh, they could come up and join us and talk with us, or you know. So it was yeah. it was kind of like having like people who'd never done a let's play before get to kind of see what it was like in a, in a way. Okay, that's cool. I can get behind that. So you seem to be friends with like a lot of other types of creators. Those people you met through uh, playing music are these all people you met through this World Nine Gaming? Uh, just all old friends who also like doing YouTube videos with you? Uh, some of them. Uh, s- since I've uh, like. Joe, I met him, I went to the Art Institute in Nashville, Tennessee, for about a year and a half. Uh, I met Joe there. I also met Matt Matt there, the guy that uh, did the music that I used for the outro. I met him there after he got uh, left the military, or was, uh, I guess his time was up. Uh, so I met those two guys there, and we had talked about doing a YouTube channel way back when. This was like 2011 or 12, maybe. Carter and... Uh, Tiny, as well as the guys from JBCon, uh I went to high school with them, and I uh, gradually like kind of ended up in their friend circle. So uh, now we just we hang out like almost every Saturday night, and we'll just like watch Toonami on Cartoon Network, like Dragon Ball and stuff like that, and we'll just watch we... watch movies and stuff. That's fantastic. So, uh, but uh, since getting on Twitter and stuff, I've actually like I met you, you know, I've met you guys, some other content creators, and have started getting like offers to like kind of you know like collab on stuff it's been it's been pretty cool uh yeah so i'm i'm really in- there might be some team fortress 2 stuff in the works then oh. if you and ben are down to play oh yeah oh, i'll play yeah i'll do some team fortress 2 stuff Sweet. Sweet. i actually last night i was testing um testing recording gameplay and stuff with my brother because he has his own youtube channel so oh that's cool he set me up and we were playing dead by daylight last night and Recorded a couple videos, just you know, giving it a shot. So we're let's players now on the Hasslecast, mm-hmm. and hopefully we can do some uh, group videos, challenge videos, stuff like that. Oh yeah, got some ideas kicking around. That'd be super cool. I'd I'd be down to. Well, we'll keep you all posted about what's coming up. All right, sweet. That sounds awesome. I'm excited. So, 
in the vein of this sort of talk, do you have any sort of, uh, like, special future plans for the channel? Like, anything new coming up that you want to uh, special wanna talk about? Let's see, special future plans. Uh, I Now that I've, I've got some more recording equipment, it'll make it easier to edit, because I am the sole editor. Joe edits. He used to do all the editing. So I've had to, uh, when he got this new job, uh, that's one, besides all that life stuff that I went through, that was one thing that set me back was that I had to learn how to edit videos, like, by scratch, like, just from nothing. And then yeah. I, I've gradually gotten a little bit better. I've experimented with, like, putting text in videos. So there's text in, like, one or two videos. Uh, Joe used to do, like, in some of the early episodes, he would, like, do, like, stuff come flying out of the screen. Like, there's, like, a donkey on one of the episodes. It just comes flying out and spins around. Yeah. There's uh, stuff like that. So I've had to learn how to edit. And for a while, it was kind of discouraging that I just had such a big workload that I would I get up and go to work at like three in the morning and then I'm there until like three in the afternoon or two and then come home and just be super tired. And then I just have to like sit down and start working on episodes. That's yeah, a long day. Yeah. For a while it was, it was kind of discouraging, but it's like, I want it, you know, if you want it bad enough, you'll do it anyways. So that's right, man. I totally agree. I've, uh, I've been trying to get busy, but there are, there are a lot of episodes in a uh, backlog, which is actually working out fine right now because everybody's been so busy. So we haven't been able to re-record stuff. Uh, yeah. Besides Octodad with Joe, but I have Breath of the Wild, like 37 episodes recorded. Like the first eight are with me and Joe, and then the rest are with uh, Tiny. And uh, there's some pretty cool Holy stuff. Holy shit, yeah, wow. Yeah, there's some pretty cool stuff that happens, like uh, dodging a lightning bolt and stuff like that, all by accident. Just th th There's some cool stuff. We're just kind of like wandering around. We weren't like trying to do the plot stuff. We were just exploring Hyrule. Uh, there's uh, still a lot of darks. Uh, as I say, you guys do like 10 to 15 minute episodes, right? For the most part. Yeah, we we I've been I've been trying to do 10 to 13 roughly, but sometimes okay. occasionally it runs over, and uh, I I hate having to put up like the 18 minute episodes. You know, like uh, a lot of the older stuff when when Carter and Tiny first come on was uh 18 epi 18 minutes because we would get so absorbed into it and i would have to like hey like we need to wrap it up because uh you know like there, there's kind of like a science to it you know people want something you know it's if it's 10 minutes or something you know you'll kind of sit there and watch it but like when it drags on it's almost like 30 minutes long you know unless it's like a certain format like a podcast or something people aren't gonna want to sit there and watch it unless they're like super big fans of yours you know yeah, for sure. So that's that is incredible. Thirty-seven parts for Zelda so far. I know. It, that's crazy. So uh, I also had to learn how to do thumbnails, Joe, because for a while Joe did it, and then uh, some of the dark, all the Dark Souls and Shovel Knight and Spelunky is Carter's sister. She did thumbnails for us for a little bit, but she's super busy. Wow. She's doing finals and all sorts of crazy stuff like that, and she has a job. So I've had to learn how to do those as well. So it's uh, sort of becoming a one-man show. A uh, one-man editing crew. And then, because uh, I, I can't do the show by myself, I've, I've tried to do episodes by myself, and uh, I really think the only kind I can do is, uh, like, reviews, like, indie game reviews. I put up, uh, when I went to MAGFest, I reviewed a game, uh, Dino Blaster, which was is actually pretty fun, especially if you're, like, you and a friend are playing it on one controller or something. Like, that's kind of fun to do. Uh, the dude was super nice. Uh, I'm also... Uh, there's a there's a game coming up uh, that I have yet to record yet, but I've been meaning to do a review and a let's play on it. It's called uh, I've actually got the box right here. It's uh, called Haunted Halloween '85. It's a like homebrew or like new original game for the original Nintendo system. Uh, it's a group called uh, Retrotainment or, or of uh, Cash In Culture. It's like a little store I guess in some other state. And uh, they make br yeah. brand new games for uh, uh, Nintendo, and I think Super Nintendo. And it's kind of like a platforming beat -em up game that takes place in like a small town on Halloween, and a bunch of monsters and stuff come come to life. And it's pretty cool. Like I I've played a whole lot of it. Like I really enjoy it. And he just released it on Steam as well. I think the second game, which has like a lot more features. So that's uh, that's one thing coming up. Uh, that I haven't started recording. There's more Dark Souls on the way. The I've got a lot of stuff to work with for a little bit. That's good. That's good. Um, so I think at this part in our show, it's a good time to uh, play our game Safe Word. What do you say? 
All right, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, awesome. Uh, for those who don't know or just listening to the show for the first time, uh, safe word is the part of our show where we take terms and definitions. I did it again. We take terms and sentences <laughs> off of Urban Dictionary and uh, give our best shot at defining them. So uh, tonight Alex has brought a bunch of words. Um, We're just going to go for this. I have one. You have one? Okay, we'll start with yours then, Dylan. Gravy boat. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> gravy boat, okay. Uh, I'm going to say that gravy boat is the... It's another way of saying uh, greatest music playlist of all time. <laughs> like, if you... And o- only people that know about it call it gravy boat, so it's just like, yo, I was listening to the gravy boat, and they're just like, yo... What's that? And be like, oh, you don't know? I can't talk to you. You're not cool enough. <laughs> You're not in the know. I'm going to guess it's the next raffle that World Mine is going to do after the chicken <laughs> raffle. Oh! Start with chicken, and it's like, okay, well, after that, we'll give away a nice pot gravy. of gravy. <laughs> <laughs> a boat of gravy. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with um, when you're on a pirate ship. And as you as get, you are, as you are, and there's a chef, and he gives you some food, and what you think, you know, what this food could do with a little bit of gravy on it, so you get some gravy on the boat, gravy boat. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Or, or does the chef provide his own special gravy, Absolutely. or is this just like normal beef gravy? Or no, something? this is the the chef special gravy. Okay. What what's chef special gravy made of? If you don't know, you can't afford it. Uh, it is the sweat of multiple seamen around him. <laughs> <laughs> Gross, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, those are our guesses. What's the actual definition? Okay, so you want me to... Alright. Uh, are you gonna... Okay, here we go. The act of pouring water into a person's asshole and then proceeding to drink it like a fine gravy. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, underneath it it says, That chick had the sweetest gravy boat I've ever tasted. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe we didn't do that as a safe word. I'm, I apologize, but I, I, Man. whoever I was talking to earlier, I actually, I think it was, okay, it might, yeah, it might have been Alex. I was uh, saying that I had found, I, I typed in Gravy Boat because I was like, okay, I don't know I, what I need to do. And then that was the first thing that popped up, and I just busted out laughing. <laughs> dude, that's good. That's a good one. That was fantastic. Okay, go ahead. All right, well, thank you for contributing to Safe Word. <laughs> I, I, oh, man, I almost just want to end it there. I don't know if it's going to get better. <laughs> it really I, won't. But, it really I won't. I should have saved that. <laughs> All right. All right, Alex. What do we got? We got some more time to fill here. This is pretty close to your your place that you're from, Dylan. Okay. What is a Louisiana chicken finger? I'm scared. I'm already scared and terrified. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's It's got to be something, like, disgusting. All right. Uh, wait, Louisiana chicken finger? Yep. A Louisiana. Chicken so I think there's a let's play group in Louisiana, <laughs> and they have their own raffle. <laughs> <laughs> but it's more specific. It's a chicken finger raffle. So it's like you're not getting drumsticks and you're not getting chicken breast. You're getting chicken fingers, chicken tenders. You know, nothing, nothing more, nothing less than just tenders. I'm gonna say it's a deep fried dildo. <laughs> 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 a deep fried dildo <laughs> Just, dude, we should get a dildo and like deep fry it like you know put it in some uh some batter and then yeah. some hot oil and they can sell that the stampede this year yeah. yeah man there's a uh there's an annual festival in our city called the calgary stampede the greatest show on earth the greatest show on earth it's called and it, sucks. Uh, it does really suck and it's worth it, like, it'll drain your wallet um, but they always have all sorts of like crazy food items you can get at like different uh, kiosks and stands and stuff. And like we've had deep fried Oreos and like super like they had deep fried juice crystals. Oh, oh those yeah. are miserable. Yeah, they had donuts or sorry, they had hamburgers with donuts as a buns. That's cr- as well. that's crazy. Yeah. There was yeah. a there was a a, a food truck at uh, JBCon outside because it took place at like a uh, the new. Uh, Expo Center in Wilson County, so there was like a, a old school uh, like sale type thing going on with like a bunch of like stuff from like the 1890s that you could buy, and there was a food truck called Smoking for His Grace or Smoked by His Grace, and it was like a, a Christian uh, food truck, 
but uh, the way it come across, uh, I, I don't think that they uh, thought about their name before they decided to put it on the side of the vehicle. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Man. But, uh, Lu- what was the word? Louisiana chicken finger? Yeah. yeah bruise. Uh, it's got to be something along the lines of, like, putting the hottest peppers ever, just smearing them over your fingers and just going to town on somebody. <laughs> <laughs> for, for lack of a... Watch bull. out, I'm going to go on ta- go out of town on you on my with my fingers. <laughs> Oh man, that would hurt. <laughs> what does that even mean? Do you just like? What do you mean? What does that mean? Are you kidding me? How old are you? Twelve? No, you can't like... figure out what going to town on somebody means after rubbing hot peppers on your fingers. <laughs> yeah, but um... Dylan, I am so sorry that this. <laughs> it's okay. It's. Uh... I've got a. Okay, so I... if you were to go on, wait, what is it? Go on... go go to town on somebody. Go to town on me with your fingers. <laughs> Describe that. You bend over. I would stick my fingers <laughs> up your pooper. <laughs> Very aggressively. What are you going gentle? He just, yeah. just right in. I'd point his multiple fingers here. Please not never just one. please never go to my town. <laughs> no, I'm not going to your town. Stay a, as far away from my town as you can. <laughs> this is horrible. Oh, I think I we know. all guessed, so what is a Louisiana that is chicken? Fantastic. Finger? Um it's when you put your junk in hot sauce, roll it in breadcrumbs, proceed to ram it into a bitch's mouth, and yell, Do you want fries with that bitch? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> I'd, say, I'd say Steven was close. No way. You were talking about deep frying a dildo. This is talking D- about... Dylan talked about going to town on somebody <laughs> after... With peppers. Yeah. No, but, like, you're using a dick, not fingers. <laughs> yeah, but mine was a dildo, not a dick. A, di- a dildo is closer to a dick than a finger is to a dick. Unless your dick is very similar in size to your fingers. That's, uh... I like giving points to our guests. Okay. Thank okay. you. I see. Yeah. No, I'm on your side here. Enjoy your pity points, Dylan. <laughs> I will. I'm just going to go cry now. I, I, I got I feel like we asked this to... Maybe we haven't asked it to all of our guests. I don't know. Have you ever found woods porn? <laughs> I was going to bring this up. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's okay. I don't know how to feel about this. Uh, I, have you ever been walking in the woods and found porn, essentially? No, I haven't. Like magazines uh, or books or no, pictures? Okay. That's, have you ever heard of people I, finding this? Con- I, I found a condom when I went fishing in the woods on a rock. So uh, <laughs> that might that pretty that kind of was it used? Yeah. I feel like that's not as magical. Woods condoms. Oh man. Oh no. So, no. Okay. Well. Hmm. Because I say, some people have had this magical experience. <laughs> but everybody that we've talked to hasn't. I don't know. Who has? Oh, wait, sorry, on this show? Yeah. Oh, my apologies. Yeah, nobody has. Yeah. I'm sorry. I know um, Julian said that he did, but that's a story for a different day. Okay. Would you support the future of Woods Porn? Oh, was this... You can support it by donating to the Hassle Cast. Okay, I will... Uh, <laughs> we'll I'm, leave porn in your name. I'm sending money. <laughs> yeah, say it's, uh, say it's the World 9 Sex Tape. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude. Hands off my hiney. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matt's gonna love that. I'm with, like he he likes knowing that people actually appreciate like the stuff he does. So, dude, it's, that it's, dude, that was the best Edward Trump song dude, in the world. Dude, he, dude, he has a song when, called. When uh, we first found these guys, when we first found you guys, like Ben showed it to me. He's like, yeah, these guys are pretty cool. They do some let's play stuff. But you gotta watch the videos just for the outro. Yeah. <laughs> and the first time I watched it, I'm like, these guys are fantastic. I need to see more of it. So what we're saying is we prefer Matt's content to yours. Oh, thanks. I'm just gonna <laughs> just let me call Matt up whenever he uh, finally decides to answer, and I'll just put him on the hassle cast. It'll just yeah, it'll go. transition Perfect. like cut all the things I've said already, and then just like, and Dylan's gone. Here's Matt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you might have a less squeaky chair as well. I know this. Well, the the back <laughs> fell off of it. That's why I said it's a stool. <laughs> oh, I see. So it was a chair. It used to be a uh, chair. Now it's a stool. Uh, do you have any more words, Alex? Uh, I do. Your third word. Ron King. G R O N K I N G. Oh shoot. Ron King. I know Ron this King. one. I think. Ron King. Have you guys ever seen The Emperor's New Groove? I'm familiar. I- I've dabbled. Okay, so. There's the villain, Yzma, and she has her henchman, and I. Bl- his name's either Gronk or Krunk. It's, it's Kronk. Kronk? Okay, in that case, Krunk's 
uh, evil brother. Oh, I think it's an O though. Gronk. Yeah. Gronk's evil brother Gronk. Um, it's it's when he does henchman work. Uh, you can get Gronked, or he does Gronking. If uh, if he does henchman work that involves you know, hurting you or taking your things or carrying around his employer or going to town on you or going to town on you with your <laughs> your chicken finger that's my guess that's what gronking is i know that was a bit of a stretch but wait till steven brings al capone into it and then your yours will seem perfect yeah steven would try to make his a bit of a stretch but his chicken finger is not big enough <laughs> have you guys ever seen the emperor's new school the tv show based off of the emperor's <laughs> new group <laughs> right, yes a little bit okay so there's a character named Kronk. yeah Right. And right. Uh, he was studying, um, it's the lost episode of the show, where he takes a sex ed class, <laughs> oh. and he learns about the special move of gronking, mm. which, um, is? which is when, you guys remember how he really liked squirrels in that yeah. movie? Yeah, you could communicate with them. Yeah. Squirrels like nuts. <laughs> 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 I got nowhere to go. Um, he really likes squirrels. I'll just leave it at that. Okay. And therefore, all acts with squirrels are now known as gronking. Oh, he's kind of like a furry, and so he's the furry at the convention, the giant squirrel costume. Okay. Yeah. And uh, instead of calling just furry, instead of being part of the furry fandom, he has branched out into gronking. And that's because his name is Kronk. Yeah, he started it, so they named it after him. But he didn't, they didn't name it quite after him, though. Well, he wanted to be anonymous. Okay. Um, he didn't feel comfortable with everyone at his school knowing him as the squirrel furry. So, <laughs> Right, right. <laughs> Let's see. Who would please, be? Please tell me you can do better than that, Dylan. <laughs> All right, Dylan, they've stalled enough. All what right. do you got? Gronking. Uh, yep. Gronking is the act of uh, having someone kneel on their knees while you do a naked front flip and axe kick them with your penis. Whoa! <laughs> Slam it on their head. Slam it on their head. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. Oh no. I kinda wanna see that now. <laughs> can you uh can you tweet at us a video of a demonstration? Uh not without getting banned. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll we'll save that for a for a different I, I have a okay. word. When you're ready to terminate the channel, start posting gronking stuff. Yeah. Okay. I've got a word. <laughs> we'll start a Patreon and make that a patron-only thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, if you give $100, I'll personally come to your house and perform the Gronk on you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll need a yep. trampoline. Perform the Gronk. <laughs> I, will, I like it. I'll perform it. <laughs> All right, Alex, hit us. God, that definition is so much better than the actual one. Uh, gronking is violently spiking an object to the ground in celebration. Oh. Most le- most commonly a football, or somebody's head with your penis. You can spike Absolutely. that downwards. You you'd spike your dick on their head, essentially. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. I like the idea of just like Kung Fu Kid Three. <laughs> it's like I have mastered this special art of fighting. <laughs> just... Look out! It's the sacred Gronk. <laughs> I keep doing... What do you think, like, instead of, like, wax on, wax off, just, like, this <laughs> slap will up, train... slap down. <laughs> this will train you. <laughs> you just gotta, like, helicopter dick leak spin all the time. <laughs> so it gets a little bit more mobile. Man, okay, Steven, next time you have to make a team for any sort of esports event you're doing, you should be the sacred gronks instead of the sacred goats. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll see right. what I can do. Is there any more? Is that I, I... it? I, uh, that's pretty much it. I got one. Okay. Right. What was that? I, I have one. I have one more. Okay. Oh, word. Perfect. All Here right. we go. This has been said on the channel before, so uh, this will be testing. Arabian Night Goggles. Arabian Night Goggles. Yes. Wait, whose show was this set on? <laughs> uh, World 9. The best show on YouTube. Yeah, come on, dude. Okay, I'm just making sure. It was part of their D- Dark Souls Let's Play. I took a guess. I have no idea. I'm I, sorry. I actually think you were right. <laughs> I think you were right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you admitted fault way too early. Oh uh, well, it's because I've watched all their videos within the last three days. Oh, so, right. um, yeah. You you got to prep for today at least. I had no chance to prep at all. Um, Arabian, sorry, Arabian night goggles. Yes. Shoot. <laughs> um, 
it it's when you go and you get like a um I don't want to be this this be like overly racist, but you get like a dish, a dish dash, <laughs> which is like a type of head gear that an Arab would use. <laughs> I, not quite a turban, but it's like a little bit more flowing. Okay. But you essentially get get the bit of fabric and you cover your your eyes, so that way you're always in the night and it's always dark for you. So like the <laughs> sun would not go and hurt your eyes at all. So you're wearing your Arabian night goggles. Oh me. <laughs> okay, I have a guess. All right. You guys have seen Aladdin, right? Yes. Yeah. There's a song in there, Arabian Nights. Okay. This has somewhat, well, <clears throat> Aladdin was the Arabian Nights part. The goggles part are when Aladdin uh, needs to fly his magic carpet at night. And, you know, magic carpets don't really come with high beams. So uh, the only way he can see where he's driving it uh, are with goggles, night goggles. All right. I'm going to say, I don't know much about Arabic culture, so I am <laughs> don't really know where I'm going to go with this. Um, it's a special form of glasses, but they're not, they don't have the technology to be able to have, like, actual, like, night goggles. So they just have, like, normal glasses that they, like, duct tape two candles to the arms, <laughs> and then they just, like, light the candles <laughs> and have light projected <laughs> by them. And those are Arabian <laughs> night goggles. Oh. <laughs> I, I like that one. I really like that one a lot, <laughs> actually. <laughs> I thought you were going to say they're goggles, but somebody just, like, colored them in green. <laughs> <laughs> so they look like they were yeah. night, oh, night goggles. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. All right, what's the actual definition? The actual definition. Arabian night goggles. When testicles are placed in the eye sockets, one testicle must be placed in each eye socket <laughs> while the recipient is sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, I can thank Tiny for that. He, I first heard that phrase, like he said it randomly to me. He's like, I, I was hanging out at his house, and he was like, "Dude, better not go to sleep before me. You'll get a Arabian night goggles." And I didn't know what it was for like a year, and then I decided to look it up. I was like, "Oh no!" <laughs> well, wasn't that what the original idea of like the tea bag was? Like you'd go and get your nuts, dip it in ink, and then start dipping that around people's face or in their mouth. I I think it's in their mouth. That was just so... an always sunny in Philadelphia thing. Oh, oh was it? Oh. Tea bag in general is just dipping your testicles in someone's mouth. Oh, okay. I've heard good things about that show, but I've never watched it. <laughs> I thought you heard good things about tea bagging. Yeah, that's what I, I was like, huh, well. <laughs> Giving or receiving? Uh, uh, you would like receiving the most, I think. Me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I can contribute to the tea bagging community, though. Like, I, I think I've got a good pair for, for bagging. <laughs> it's always sunny in Philadelphia is dope. It kind of goes downhill a little bit afterwards after like the 11th season that they're on now oh but it's a pretty good show okay. like overall cool. uh you were saying Dylan? oh i was gonna just back to teabagging for just a second uh i don't know if any of you guys have ever played a game called shadow run on xbox 360 but yeah. uh yeah. yes yeah that game is i'm a am- big fan of the 360 version that of game is amazing dude but uh uh there's an achievement called spread it or no there uh yeah it's uh I don't remember the name of the achievement, but to get it, you have to teabag somebody who has the achievement. But they're insinuating it's a sexually contracted disease because when you look at the description for it, it says catch it. <laughs> it's, oh, it's oh. Shadowrun Fever. That's the name of the achievement. Shadowrun Fever. The only way to get it is to teabag somebody who has the Shadowrun Fever achievement. Oh, oh I, I love it. That's oh, that's so creative. Yeah. So who had the first uh, achievement? I think made? they had developers play with people, and then gradually people were just like teabagging the shit out of the developers when they played. Man. Okay. I just looked back at our game shelf, and yeah, we have it. The game for, is so for fun. I love it. Yeah. What's the game? I've never played it. It's sort of like a battle arena, right? Yeah, it's... It's a first-person shooter. It's a first-person shooter unless you have, like, the sword. Uh, yeah. Or, like, the artifact. Uh, there's two teams. Uh, one's kind of, like, almost like a... It's like a militia, like, uh, rebels. And the other team, is, like, works for a company. And uh, in the game, it, like, takes place in the future where uh, there's a lot of high-tech, like, stuff. And... Uh, they find this artifact that uh, spreads magic throughout the world again. So uh, some people who have like genes to become like who have like elf DNA or like their ancestors were elves and stuff like way back when start becoming elves. And there's people that become dwarfs and then trolls and stuff like that. And uh, you pick it and each one kind of has like pros and cons. Like the elves can heal like self heal, but they have less defense. Like you can shoot them and they take a lot more damage. But the offset, like I said, they heal. Uh, they're uh, they have higher magic, 
and uh, some of their stuff takes less to use, but as a result, they can't use technology worth sh- worth a shit because they have like big penalties on it. Uh, so it, it's a really awesome <laughs> game. You can teleport through walls and stuff. Fun fact: one of the lead designers of the original Halo was one of the lead guys for Shadow Run oh, as really? well. Cool. And um, it's a phenomenal game. Yeah, it's it's awesome. It's really unfortunate it did not sell at all. I know it, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was a multiplayer only shooter that came out like two thousand seven. Yeah, it was oh, wow. super wow. cool. Like. One of my favorite spells was Strangle, that the one where you like throw a crystal out and it just like forms ice everywhere and it just traps people and drains their magic. Like, oh, yeah. you get like a troll caught in a hallway with that and then you just blast him with a shotgun until he dies. Is it all online or is it like local player, uh, like coach co-op? I don't think there's any. Couch I don't co-op. think there's any local options. Yeah. Like the only like offline split or split screen thing you can do is against bots. But I don't. I don't even think there's split screen at all. I think it's online only. Yeah. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, it, it it was a lot of fun. It's criminally underrated. Yeah, for sure. Maybe the devs will do a remake of it with a different like branding, kind of like what Ukulele did to Banjo Kazooie. Oh, with that? yeah, that'd be uh, well, super cool. Yeah, I, I would love to see it, but tech, like Shadowrun exists as a franchise already yeah, outside of this uh, game. Um. It's top It's like down. a board tabletop RPG usually, and they've done other RPGs for PC. I have no idea how the shooter was made. I'm thankful it was because the game was sick. But um... was there only one shooter? Yes, one shooter game. I guess you want to call yeah. it. Yeah, there's like. I did not think we were going to talk about Shadowrun today, man. I'm so glad to have you on the show. Always down to talk about Shadowrun. Oh man, Shadowrun's awesome, dude. I used to play the hell out of that game. Yeah. <laughs> I so this past weekend I was I was doing a bit of camping, and uh, went hiking. Um, one of the days and we came all the way back down and cause we're in bear country cause we're in, we're in Waterton and I know Dylan, this means nothing to you and to Ben and Steven it pretty much means nothing either, but it's a funny story anyway. Steven doesn't go outside. Like coming here is probably the most outside he does all the time. <laughs> I think today was the first time I've left the house this weekend. So I think that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, so went up, did the hike, came back down. It's a gorgeous day out, a little bit windy, but it was perfect out um me and my girlfriend who I was there with we were looking at the map talking about where we want to go for dinner and what we want to do that afternoon basically look down at the map and then look back up back up and then within those like five seconds a black bear walked up behind us it was maybe <laughs> whoa maybe 10 meters away from us did you so, like literally just popped up did you push him down and run <laughs> I no he gave it. him a Oh shoot! What was it? The front flip dick move. Oh, the the gronk. Gronking. <laughs> Gronky, yeah, he gronked him. <laughs> just... Gronked the bear. <laughs> hey, honey, I got this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can expect some of that pull, later. Pull away pants and the front flip. But, yeah, no, just whatever. Bear just popped up. It was a mom and her cub, and it was like, hey, gonna quickly and quietly get into the car and not startle it at all. That's wow. It was the weirdest thing ever. The fact that we were like. Looking at it, talking, making a bunch of noise, and then all of a sudden, bear just popped up. And That's insane, dude. That's it, really yeah, cool. Yeah, no, it didn't make noise. It, yeah, it was horrific. Take a picture. I did. Cool. Yeah, I got a couple of photos. Nice. So I will post those. I uh, I actually have a similar story to that from a couple of years back. Uh, not with a bear, but uh, I was walking up the driveway to get a uh, mail, and my driveway is a quarter of a mile long. Uh. Holy crap! Yeah, I uh, you live in the country. Uh, I live off the road. I can see the road, but it uh, it is it is a little bit of a walk. But I was walking. Uh, I had music in. I was listening to something, and I took my headphones out because uh, I was expecting a call, and I didn't want it to just blow up my ears. So I took it out and I put it in my pocket, and then I heard something walking, and I thought it was like one of the dogs or something. And I turn around and there's a deer, like a baby deer, behind me, like walking right up behind me. It has to be like Whoa. maybe seven feet from me, so Jeez. that was super pretty cool. close. Yeah, like, I just kind of having any, any animals very close to you and you not realize that they've gotten that close to you is very startling. Yeah, I was like, what the what the hell? <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised it wasn't just like terrified and just ran away. Uh, I'm surprised to be willing to get that close. Apparently, uh, I uh, I checked Facebook. Uh, some of the people uh, have been feeding the deer, like some of my neighbors or something. So it's just it's used to people to an extent. Like it just comes up behind people, mm. thinking that they're gonna feed it. So I don't know what happened to Maybe it. Maybe just wanted to listen to some of your sweet tunes. I I I, I guess. But if it didn't get scared away, by did you gronk tunes. the deer? I uh, I attempted it. I tried the backflip variant, and uh, it was gone by the time I hit the ground. <laughs> <laughs> What's the backflip variant called? 
uh, it is a... Where's the, the Grunk Queen? It's the double... F- uh, it's now called the Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> first one to pull it off. First and first and only person so far. I had to train in the mountains for seven months to even get the, the, the flip <laughs> down. Gravity has a strange way of uh, spinning your dick in midair, and it just doesn't work right. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like your uh, quarter-mile driveway walk is a perfect time to listen to a podcast. Uh, Yeah, I should start trying. I bet you would get that. tons more animals approach you if you had a speaker going. and. Uh... Oh, they would just hear you. Turn it off! <laughs> the animals can learn English. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> sick of this shit. Uh, shit. Oh, my cat's sleeping on the bed now. She's She's done for the day. <laughs> Yeah, she's just out. It's a hard life. It's a hard life being a bitch. Wasn't that just perfect? Oh, no. Not not you two. You and Joe would get along too well because Joe is like the pun master. It's just... It's bad. Oh, yeah? <laughs> he annoys me oh. with the, with puns. And... I'm sure Joe is very punny. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to have to have you guys Ooh. hang out or something because it's... I'm already... I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get a little agitated. Hey, do I do I just leave then? Do I just call <laughs> get, it quits there? Getting some PTSD here? <laughs> I'm, no, I'll be okay. Because Joe will not stop uh, with puns. Like you're giving me like a breather. With him, I can't even like chuckle, like pity chuckle him, uh, or cringe because he starts another pun immediately afterwards. Oh man, God. that's rough. Yeah, it's. Uh... No, it's a cat, not a dog. <laughs> Well, <laughs> uh, is there any uh, last stories that you wanted to tell or anything, Dylan, before we shut her down here? Uh, not really. I mean, uh, I got some some music stuff in the works, so that might be coming out soon, or not soon, but you know, once stuff gets, uh, you know, gets in the pipe, and then I've already talked about some of the stuff yeah. we're recording, uh, like uh, game gameplay wise and stuff, uh. I'm getting possibly getting another tattoo tomorrow, so I'm, I'm kind of excited about that. And then uh, another tattoo. Yeah, I, I, I have one tattoo right now. Uh, what what have? What's the one you currently have? Uh, it's a tattoo from Supernatural, the the TV show. I'm, okay. I've been a huge fan since I was in middle school, and uh, it the, the a lot of people you know they talk about like the what's the meaning behind the tattoo? Why did you get it? You know, uh, for me yeah. the, the tattoo uh, I've kind of wanted the the symbol for a while but for to me it kind of it's something that me and my mom were able to grow closer to uh for a while we kind of we were kind of distanced if that makes sense and uh when i worked at target and i was going through a lot of stuff this was when i was in college uh i would come home from target and uh she would uh uh, she would come in there and i would be eating breakfast because i had to be at work at three but i would get off at four to come home and or not four i would get off at eight to come home and clean clean up before I head out to uh, class at like 11 or 12 and uh, they would have it on and she started watching it she would catch bits and pieces and she got really interested and I had like the first three seasons on DVD at the time so she started watching it and now uh, we've been to see we've been to like the supernatural convention twice we've had pictures taken with the actors and stuff and I may uh, I may put some wow. of those pictures up later after the podcast is off but uh it's uh sure. it's it just it's kind of like uh, it's something me and her were able to grow closer between as well as being like uh it's one of my favorite tv shows and i've loved it since i was in middle school so that's uh plus it looks cool if you, that's incredible yeah if you don't know what it uh if you don't know what the symbol is from then people just freak out when they see it they're like oh my god there's a weird thing on your chest type deal so <laughs> oh so it's on your chest yeah it's on my like right above like uh right, right below my left like uh like uh, the bone right there. I, I'm, I'm drawing blanks. It's above my boob. Okay, my okay, I got so, you. So near your clavicle then. <laughs> I, or your collarbone. Yeah, collarbone. What, Thank you. What's this new tattoo you're getting? Uh, the new tattoo. Uh, it's my logo. My favorite band ever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that, and then I'm gonna start working on a sleeve over time. So. Uh, nice. Yeah. What's the band? Uh, Death. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of them. They're. Uh, Death? Yeah, they were... Okay. Just Death. Yeah, just Death. They were one of the... Can't say I'm too familiar. They no. were one of the very first uh, death metal bands ever, hence the title. Uh, oh. They, uh, 1986, cool. uh, I believe they were going under the name... Uh, or 1984, they were going under the name Mantis. And his br- the lead guitar player slash vocalist, his brother died. And uh, he changed the name to Death. Like, I guess he was just going through some stuff. And... Uh, from 86 or 88 to 2001 
uh, they made music and every album he tried to get better and better at guitar and write music so a lot of like the newer uh he basically kind of come up with almost every genre and like offshoot of death metal you could think of just about except for some of the newer stuff but he died in 2001 from a uh, brain cancer that uh he tried to get treatment for and just couldn't oh geez so uh his music really uh when i discovered him i was at a really hard point in my life and uh listening to him like the lyrics and stuff a lot of his lyrics like they weren't like gory or anything like that like a lot of death metal bands at the time were it was more psychological talking about like how people would treat you uh like mental stuff like people having problems like it, it was really kind of cool to hear a band from like 1980 or 1990 like talking about stuff like that that was playing that kind of yeah. music and uh oh cool i can get behind besides that. did uh, is there a particular song that you might want to have on our gravy boat not the <laughs> uh not the butthole variety uh uh i don't know man uh like what's your favorite death song man uh, that's hard because uh i like I, I love every album i have like two or three of their albums on vinyl oh cool it's uh it's really hard like it depends on if you want something like really aggressive or kind of like more uh like progressive because the later stuff's more progressive but uh it really doesn't matter oh man that's uh, on the uh, on the gravy boat that we have which is like a little music section plug thing that we do we have a large variety of stuff so go as obscure as you want you know what if if i'm gonna voice of the soul there's no scene if there was one song right here i'll put it this way if there's one song that you said listen to this song by death or, or it, it doesn't will, even have to be death. Yeah, pimp or, whatever or music band. you like. Yeah, just like listen to this one song. Uh, Voice of the Soul by by. Voice Soul, and then is that one by death? By or? death. It's an instrumental, and it's just it's really soulful. Like it's it's pretty cool. Like it, it kind of slow to start, but uh, it builds up, and it's it's just like two guitars. Like there's an acoustic guitar, and then one with distortion, just kind of like doing leads and stuff. But it's uh it's really cool. It's it's one of my favorites. It's up there. Perfect. Yeah. Sweet. Awesome. So we will link to Voice of the Soul by Death. Yes. Right? Yes. That's right. It's on yeah. uh, Sound okay. of Perseverance is the name of the album. It's like a red mountain or something. Like you'll know it when you see it. Okay. Yeah, so we'll we'll uh Okay, yeah, I see it. We will link to the YouTube uh I guess version that they have. Um we'll link that in our playlist on our YouTube channel that's called Gravy Boat and uh for our listeners, if you would like to hear other music recommendations from previous episodes, and we usually do one or two every episode, uh, the rest of them should be in that playlist. And if you listen to the show and there's some that aren't in that playlist, let us know and we will remedy that situation because <laughs> sometimes it gets missed. All right, so about, uh, yeah, do you want to... So I was going to say, we're about time here. Yeah, we're at about time, Dylan. So do you want to plug your channel and uh, your social media and stuff? Sure, I mean, I, I just... Uh, you. I mean, I'm I'm Dylan from World Nine. Uh, come check us out. We do uh, like let's plays. If you like uh, Game Grumps or Markiplier stuff like that, I mean that's kind of what I based the channel off of when I started. Just friends sitting around a TV playing games. The Twitter handle, I believe it's at World Nine Official, like World underscore Nine Official. I think that's it. Just gonna give a quick tip for anybody trying to find you guys on YouTube. I found the easiest way to find it was just going like World Dash Nine. Yeah. And then uh, it took me to your channel. So. Oh, it does that now? Because for a while, uh, you could type that in and it would show like Super Mario uh, Super Mario 3D Land. And Yeah, that was probably the first four or five results. But yeah, definitely like on the first page though. But, uh, I don't that's know. cool. Uh, yeah, after four or five results, probably you guys. Yeah, another that, – that's cool that it does that. Another uh, kind – sort of easy way to find us is uh, the World Dash 9 and then uh, – in the filter, uh, search it, and then go to the top and click the filter, and then hit channel, and we should be like the first one. It's like a crazy red and black looking face thing. Yeah, you are. You can see the you can see the red logo with your face on it. Yeah, That's such a cool logo. It oh, is. Thank you. <laughs> oh, getting a leg cramp, really yeah. bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my cat. Oh no. no. Okay, I think I'm I think I'm okay. <laughs> All right. Well, before the cat destroys everything, uh, let's wrap this up. Um, thank you everybody so much for uh, tuning in. Uh, if you want more content, just go subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Hasslecast Podcast. Uh, we're not popular enough yet to have a custom URL, so just use the use the search, find us. Uh, also, go subscribe to World Nine. Their their content's really funny. Good group of guys. Check them out. It's great. And uh, be sure to follow us on Twitter at Hasslecast. 
Uh, we have an Instagram as well. And shoot us an email at hasslecast at gmail.com. Let us know any sort of, you know, tips or recommendations or anything that you want us to talk about on the show, stuff like that. Again, d- dating advice is always appreciated. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> when we're not when we're not given dating advice, we'll take some. Um, so yeah, and also if you listen to this on iTunes or Google Play Music, leave us a rating, preferably a high rating. Otherwise, don't even bother. <laughs> Um, so yeah, thank you everybody so much for tuning in and thank you Dylan for being on our show. Oh, no problem, man. Uh, we've been trying to do this for a while so I've, I've been really excited to be on it, here. So, uh, it's true. Like before we finally got our setup to have guests on, um, there was like quite a few people that I had promised and we finally got to your, your spot. So oh, we'll good. definitely have you on again. Uh, thank you, man. Uh, we're actually, uh, me and you are going to try and I believe, uh, Set something up. Oh, yeah, we talked about that earlier. Brain fart. I'm sorry. You sure it wasn't just a stool fart? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, th- uh, thank, but thank yeah, you But, yeah, if you much. can figure it out, I'm totally down. And if you want any of the other people that we have in our cast, then uh, we'll, we'll set it up. I mean, that'd be cool if we just had, like, a big group of people. Like, that'd be crazy. Yeah. Have, oh, I'm sure we're all... Have, like, two... Uh, want to put the video up. Have, have, two, uh, have two screens in the corner that uh, have the... You, uh, like one with your group of guys, like like face cam type style, like all on a couch, and then uh, one over here. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll talk about it. We'll figure out what we need to do, and we'll make it happen. Right. No problem. Awesome, man. Thanks. All right. No problem. Okay. So, well, thank you everybody so much for tuning in. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, we are really really thankful to the people this episode. Dude, post production's where all the magic is. Uh, <laughs> thank you everybody so much for tuning in, and uh, check out check us out next week, next Wednesday for a new episode. And uh, go listen to all our previous episodes to see what you missed out on. All right, thanks, everybody. Goodbye. Thanks. See ya. Bye.